My neck is burning, so I'm sitting there. Anyway. Yes, it is. Okay, guys. <laughs> no, Mark, come on. I know that's I want to let most, the most of the light come through. Are you going to get in the shot? Yeah. No, it's on now. Okay, hi guys, welcome back to Building Jones. We are a multi-generational family of six living in one home. And today we are joined by Mommy and Nana. And Caleb. And Kyle. And Kyle. Princess P is upstairs. Anyway, we are um, working on the garden. And <laughs> I had these <laughs> dreams of doing a lunar garden. So everything was gonna be white and beautiful and blooming and then March happened and then yeah. April happened. And so now everything is either dead or hasn't come up. And so <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> and so we need to we need to revisit um this whole garden situation. And I knew I didn't mind greens in it, but I just don't want like pinks and purples and yellows and oranges. And that's just me, right? My aesthetic, if I have to have a garden that's not food I or fruit I would prefer if it were monochromatic so anyway as I stand here I'm laughing because I'm now going to show you in the world um <laughs> <laughs> what was supposed to be a beautiful garden for mommy to look at and my mom and right now we're not there yet so we went back to um one of the box stores that shall not be named and picked up some more things. One of those things was um, one of mommy's favorites as a hydrangea. And ever since I was a little girl, when she lived in Queens, I can remember going to her house and she would have huge, beautiful hydrangeas. Um, she always had plants. Um, and they had a pear tree in the back. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. it had, that tree had so many pears that you'd even care that the squirrels were back there eating up some of the produce. That's how many pears that fruit tree put off. That tree was huge. Anyway, I digress, as I often do. So we picked up um, a dwarf hydrangea for her, and then we got some grasses, because I love grasses. Um, I just love the way they look. I've, I've actually put some up at the front as well. Um, and so anyway, we're going to put some of these in the ground and hope that they feel better. <laughs> now, mind you, I'm laughing. Now, mind you, last night, it got down, or this morning when I woke up, it was 35 degrees. So clearly the frost is not over. We are still in the thick of spring, winter-ish weather. Um, but now, of course, it's beautiful, short sleeves, but we'll just see. You know, gardening is an experiment, a journey. Don't get upset, just do your best and, um, <laughs> you know, keep going. So anyway, come along as we try to figure out where we're gonna place these um, items. So we decapitated the daisies, um, kept the greenery and the flowers that survived. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come back and fill this back in with mulch. Um, so it'll be a bit more uniform. And so we'll see what the daisies do. My mother thinks that, bless you mommy, my mother thinks that there's a chance. 
Um, this is the new hydrangea. We put it in the middle since it's gonna be apparently the biggest thing out here for right now anyway. And so we had already planted some of these things. So thyme, um, the dill, these are called candy tough. Um, and look, 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 there's a baby pollinator. Oh, the bee, the bee. Um, and so, and then this is German thyme, which is so nice. And then again, like I snuck food in because this, where is it on the camera? Over there somewhere is a collard. So, yeah, I, I told him about the tomatoes. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll leave it for a sec. We need to put something right in this spot and we'll fill it back in with, with mulch. And I'll tell you what I did to cheat, to be honest. What I did, not to be honest, but full disclosure, I guess. Um, what I did was we had leaves all around the property. Obviously, there's trees, there's leaves. This is zone eight, like leaves fall. <laughs> not California where everything is ever green. And so what I did was I backfilled this area because it was very low. I backfilled it with leaves from around the property. And then when... My husband got some topsoil for the other side of the property. I put some in here on top of the leaves. So what you see is a lot of, um, so what you see here is you see a mixture of things. You see leaves and twigs, <laughs> um, and then you see clay. Gotta love that stuff. It's good for something, but not everything we needed to be for right now. And then I covered that with um, just regular old topsoil, which is a different kind of special because it's not very nutritious, right? And so what I've been doing is as I have been planting, I when I dig the hole, we backfill it with some much better soil, um, which I don't have an example of any right now. Um, so that way, you know, we're not filling this whole bed with expensive soil. We're just putting it where the plants are. And the goal is for them, obviously, to get strong enough where they can survive with what they got. Because reality is survival of the fittest around these parts. So we've just put in this border here and here. And it looks a little bit better. <laughs> More, it's full now at least. So as it comes in, hopefully it'll even fill up. But we'll come back, we'll put another something here and then we'll cover with mulch. And oh, I forgot I've got chives in the back there too. And so we'll see, you know, what happens. But it's filling in. Looks a bit of a wreck, but we'll get it together. And yeah, and it's fun, right? So if you're enjoying yourself, you're getting good exercise, Sometimes the process can be a little ugly, but it's worth it in the end. Mm -hmm.